the poem crossing of rivers by k k n darwala describes a situation in which a drowning man is rescued by a fisher girl there are times when the current of a river is very brisk and swift and there are times when the flow of the river is so slow that one cannot even judge in which direction the river is flowing but whatever the reason a river has always to be crossed sometimes a man may cross a river on foot because the water is hardly waist deep or because the surface of the water is almost in contact with the mud at the bottom sometimes the current of water is so tranquil that it hardly seems to be moving and you have to ask the boatman which way the current of water is going there are occasions when young blood seeks excitement and adventure on such an occasion a young man may jump into the river and if he finds it difficult to swim he may catch hold of the tail of a fat bodied buffalo to keep himself afloat if a fisher girl happens to see this man struggling to keep himself afloat she would scream in order to attract somebody else's attention to his predicament she may see his head alternatively rising above the surface of the water and sinking below it like a coconut the fisher girl may then quickly swim towards him and give him a push towards the river bank by this time a group of people may have gathered on the river bank in response to the alarm which had been raised by the fisher girl the fisher girl would then ask the crowd to move back a few steps so as to let the rescued man breathe properly she would fan his face in order to make some more oxygen available to him she may even wipe off the froth from his mouth and when he opens his eyes and looks into the distance he may not even be able to see the rock from which he had given the plunge into the river This short poem describes a situation in which a man faces a danger though the danger is ultimately averted by the initiative taken by a fisher girl the poetry of darwala has been described as the poetry of action and incident in this poem we have both incident and action the first one third of the short poem is just an introduction to the main situation which forms the substance of the poem then the incident happens a young fellow seeking excitement jumps into the river to prove his mettle however he finds himself in grave danger because he cannot cope with the fast current of the water he would have been drowned if it had not been for the initiative taken by a fisher girl who had by a sheer chance caught notice of his head bobbing up and down in the water like a coconut